Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Curry Kane and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In today's tutorial, we have a 4x4 vault door. I'm insanely proud of this vault door. It's the first one I've made completely on my own, and I would say it's pretty cool. Openings, not bad. And clothings, not bad either. Nice and quick, nice and snappy. It might not be the quickest or the slimmest, but I think it's going to be the most reliable. Also, in today's story, I'm wearing the fox onesie as requested in the last episode. If you'd like to choose the mob of my onesie in the next tutorial, leave a comment down below. I may choose your comment. Anyways, let's get straight on into the materials. You'll need some saw blocks, 16 door blocks, 6 glass, 20 sticky pistons, 2 observers, 8 redstone repeaters, 50 redstone dust. You may need more if you want to put your levers farther away, and 2 levers. First, you're just simply going to want to build your door. So with your door blocks, you're going to have four blocks on the bottom. On these two end blocks, you're going to go up three more, up three more, connect it at the top, like so. Go around to the bottom, you can place a temporary block, and then just get your two by two, and you can break the temporary block. Should be like this. And if you have a wall, which I'm assuming you'll have a wall, should be one indented from the wall. So this smooth stone is where my wall will be. You have the door right there. So first, we're going to go right below these bottom four blocks of your door. We're going to break these floor blocks. Break the floor blocks right below those. And we're going to get sticky pistons facing up. So let me just quickly like prep the ground so they can get these sticky pistons facing up. So there should be two blocks of space. Then get sticky pistons, four of them facing up like so, with a block of space in between the head of the sticky piston and the top of it, and then your door blocks. Then right in front of the door, you can replace these floor blocks, but make sure to not put any blocks above these. You do not want any blocks there. Now the exact same thing as the bottom, we're going to have to get steep distance on the top four. So off the top, we're going to get three blocks, like so. Break the first two. Get sticky piston facing down. And then inside the, the sticky piston, just get three more, like so. Should be looking like this. You can also break this temporary block. Now to the left of the door, we're going to go two blocks over, like so. So there should be a one block gap. Get two sticky pistons facing in on top of it, like so. Go to the other side, do the exact same thing. One block space. Two sticky pistons on top of it, facing in like so. And you can break these temporary blocks. On the back side, so where this 2x2 two two is, we're going to go back even with these sticky pistons. But we're also going to add one more block behind that. So it should be even with these sticky pistons, and then one block behind that. Now we're going to get a 2x2 two two of sticky pistons facing in like so. Like this. Go to the other side and do the exact same thing. So one, two, sticky pistons phasing in like so. Ba boom. So now we're gonna go to the front, down below. We're gonna place four blocks, and then we can get four redstone dust going into these pistons. Then to the left, we're gonna go two blocks, redstone dust, and then a repeater. Grab this repeater, going into a block, redstone dust on top. Then we're gonna go around to the back and have a block going back with redstone dust on top. And now this redstone dust going to a block, and then it can go up a block like so. The right, we're going to have redstone dust. We're going to have that going into a block like so. Should be one block in front of this piston. And we're going to have it go to the left. Redstone dust on top. We're going to have it go up a block. Redstone dust. Back and up a block. Redstone dust. Towards the door. Up a block. Redstone dust. Then on the back of this piston right here, we're going to have glass. Repeater on it. Forward tick delay. Going towards the front. Crouch place a block on the front of it like so. And if you can't, you can just go like that. On the back of this piston and the side of this piston, we're going to place a block. Rest on dust right there. We're going to go back to the repeater. Crouch, place a block on top of it. Rest on dust, continue it up. On top of these two sticky pistons, two pieces of glass with two redstone dust on top of it. On the side, a block with the redstone dust. Now we're going to finish it off with four blocks going up and across like so. So then we can connect up four redstone dust on top. Now we can quickly go back to the closest glass block towards the middle. Get an observer facing down on the back side of it. We're going to get a block of space, so on this bottom piston, we're going to place a block. Redstone dust on top, like so. Last but not least, coming off of this redstone dust, we're going to have a repeater on top of it for tick delay. That should be this entire side done. Now let's do the other side. So down at the bottom, two blocks. Redstone dust, repeater, going into a block. Redstone dust on top, going back block with redstone dust. Up and back a block, oops, like so. To the left, have redstone dust going into a block. To the right, have another block, rest some dust, make like this T shape. Go up a block, rest some dust, go back and up a block, rest some dust on top, and then in and up a block, rest some dust. On this bottom piston right here, have glass, the repeater facing towards the front, like so, for tick delay. Have it going into a block, like so. In this little corner on the back of this piston, inside of this piston, we're gonna have a block with rest some dust on top. Then we're gonna crouch place a block on top of this repeater, rest some dust on top. These two pistons right here, 
we're gonna have two glass blocks with two redstone dust on top. Then we're gonna have a normal block of redstone dust and it should connect up to the entire line. Last but not least, let's get in our observer. So on the closest glass block to the door, we can get one facing down, so red dot should be down. Block of space, so on the spawn piston, we're gonna have a block. Redstone dust in between. Last but finally not least, on top of the observer, we got a repeater with four tick delay, like so. That should be it. This should be entirely all done. Now we can test this by going down below, placing a lever right here. Then we can flick it on, it should all extend like so, but the moment of truth is when we unpower it, it should all work. Ah, uh, yes, perfect. Then we can try it again, should all extend like so. All retract like so, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. If it is not working for whatever reason, make sure you have all your redstone, of course. Your repeater's going into solid blocks. Make sure you are using solid blocks. Only use glass where glass is needed. So have it going up, make sure you have this redstone going into a block so then it can power this bottom piston, both sides. Make sure the observer is facing down, the arrow may be on this side or this side, doesn't matter. What matters is there should be a red dot on the bottom. Make sure you have both glass right here and here and make sure your repeaters are on four tick and four tick delays, both sides. And if you still don't know what's wrong, I'm going to re recommend to rebuild it because it's only going to be wrong if... If you went over that stuff, if it's all correct, I don't know. You may be playing on Java. This is Bedrock Edition. I'm pretty sure for Java, this will not work. So just check all that stuff. Anyways, to finish this off, you can just cover it up with some blocks. Easy and simple. Make sure you don't cut off any redstone anywhere. Like, make sure you don't do that because that, that, that'll break it and stuff. Then on the back, you can place some blocks here all the way around like so. And, and yeah, and just place blocks wherever needed. Also, don't forget to place blocks on the inside right here and here and here. So, boom. Now, for levers, uh, let's say I want my lever, uh, I don't know, right here. Super simple. You just connect it up, turn it on, connect it up like so. Main rest on line. Get rid of that lever. This lever should do the exact same thing. Open it up and closing it. Beautiful. But let's say you want your lever on a wall or something. Not much different. My wall will have it right there. Staircase it down so then you can get redstone to the center area like so and then we can use this works Use this works, but in your case your lever may be too far away to where it doesn't work So let's say so far away that that doesn't work as you see it doesn't work This is because it's so far away that the redstone line doesn't reach to fix that add a repeater somewhere And it should yeah, it should work now you can also get a lever on the inside or pretty much anywhere else by just adding a lever the same way you first did. Simply go like this, connect it up. It's on the other side. You're going to kind of have it with the first thing where it connects to all these pistons and then like so. Now, boom, should work. Should work, yep. And then once again, if it's too far, you may need slap and a repeater right about there. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So if you did enjoy today's tutorial, make sure to smash like, subscribe, new as always, post notice. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.